Good afternoon. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Switch. They're reviewing the market today. And I think it's more important right now to review the QQQs because they're more in danger of breaking this level than the SPY is. So, well, we'll look at the boom. But the bottom line is we did not break this turnaround day bar in the Qs. We didn't break it in today's trading. I don't think we're going to break it, but I think we're going to gap down tomorrow or neutral and then fall. We're not done with this. We're going to retest this area again tomorrow. I can't see in any universe how we gap up tomorrow and hold unless we do some major, major gap up. We are struggling with this area. We got to gap up over it. It's the only way we're going to get over it. So I think we're going to end up being down tomorrow in the morning when we get up in the open, down a little, medium, or a lot. If we're neutral where we close tonight, we'll still drop first and then we'll rally. So we could end up being negative in the morning tomorrow, start the day down, and rally into the close. Best case scenario then for the market to actually fall through and gap up on Monday. Well, best case scenario is we gap up over everything on the planet. I, that's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. So there was some negative news today. And any little negative news or big negative news or medium negative news makes the, makes panic right now. And that brings in the selling. So this looked worse earlier. It looked like crap earlier. To me, it actually still looks bad for tomorrow. Not overall in the long term, but we are definitely struggling getting over this. The more we struggle getting over it, the bigger the move we're going to have when we get over it. So at the end of the day, it, it's like it's, it, you know, nothing's changed in my overall picture here, except for the time that I'm looking at of the numbers to be hit is skewed. But for later in the year, even I'm talking about just even in the summer months, not skewed because of the fact that the lift over these areas is going to blow and the blow numbers keep getting lower because people are shorting this market. People are selling. And all the people that are selling, every time they get a scaredy cat worried thing like today, will end up buying back in because they really want to be long. Because they really want to be long in the market. They don't want to miss the rally when it comes. But the problem is that nobody knows now. Nobody knows and nobody is con everybody's concerned and everybody's worried and everybody's scared. So we're like, well, we'll just sell now and we'll get back in if it fixes itself. And that's how people are thinking. So is it an emergency that we have to hold this low in here? Not necessarily, but in the SPY, yes. Now let's just look at this. This is what I don't like. This is what I don't like, and we're going to gap down tomorrow or neutral and fall. And we could go all the way down here tomorrow and have a big red day in the market. I'm not predicting that we do that. I don't know if we will. It depends where exactly we open the exact number we open tomorrow. I do not think we go over the low of this bar of the turnaround day here in the SPY. I don't think we do. But... These two charts don't look exactly alike anymore. The SPY looks weaker for tomorrow. The Qs are going to probably break this day if we fall in the SPY tomorrow. And, and I don't think we break this day in the SPY. It's more important that we hold it in the S&P because the banks are in with this. And that was what was negatively affected with all the stuff today for the drop-off. And that's why the SPY looks ugly. The SPY looks uglier than the Qs today because of the banks are in the SPY. But honestly, we're gonna, I, I just can't see how we gap up tomorrow. If we do, it, it's going to have to be big to hold. It's, and I just don't see that happening. So there you have it. I mean, we could have the follow through of red tomorrow in the gap. Come in all day big. Open neutral fall. We could gap down and rally. It's more likely that if we do anything big tomorrow in a gap, it's more likely we gap down big and then we'd rally on the day. I think we hold this bar from the turnaround day in the spy. But, you know, I thought we'd hold it in both the markets, but we're not. This looks very different. It looks very different. But to be honest with you, the SPY had a bigger move up than the Qs did. And we actually almost got over the area in the SPY. So they're just trying to get back in tune with one another. See how we're, we're almost over the area here. We were actually positive in the year at one point in the SPY last week. Or was it Monday? No, it was Friday. But in the Qs, we never were. I don't think. Nope. See, we never were. We never were. The open of the year was 109.43 and we were never positive. That's why this is happening. That's why this is doing all of this. That's why this is doing all of this and we just have to wait till the markets get back in sync with one another. So this is Melissa Armour with the Stock Swoosh. Email me at melissa at the if you want more information about the next Golden Gap class. It's March 20th, which is Sunday, and 21st, which is Saturday.
Have a great night, everyone.